Consistent with our impartial policy, we present views as expressed in a recent speech in Scotland by the well-known political leader, Mr. Harry Pollitt. Chairman and comrades, the spring finds opening out the most decisive and critical battles of this war. But it also finds the people of this country in the most critical and determined mood. There is a growing resentment in the minds of the working people of Britain against all this talk of Hitler's gigantic spring offensive and no talk of any offensive that we intend to carry out. As a matter of fact, sometimes we are consoling ourselves by hoping that when Hitler lets go this next time against the Red Army, the Red Army will be able to stick it. There is never any suggestion that we are going to let go against Hitler in Europe. Unless we do, then we should not whine or beat our breasts in the future, because history will demand of us a greater sacrifice for the delay in organizing the Second Front than what it would take if it were organized now. I speak to men and women right on the heart of the industrial climb. I speak to men in the main who are skilled and semi-skilled shipyard workers. Not one of us has the right to cheer when a Second Front is called for unless we are prepared to face all the obstacles that are at present impeding production in the shipyards, the mines and the factories. If we are going to call for offensive action in the West, we also have to call for offensive action in the places where we work. Once that second front was open, then all the feelings of frustration that are at present rampant in industry would disappear. There are millions of lads in the British forces who are capable of doing everything that the Red Army has already shown itself capable of doing since last June. The working class of Britain are made of the same metal as their Russian comrades and only yearn for the opportunity to prove it in deeds. That's my message.